5 things you didn't know you can do in C Sharp. Number 5. Starting with C Sharp 11, you can now use raw string literals, which are a format that lets you write your strings on multiple lines with ease. You can have indentation, quotes without escapes, and interpolation with no problem. You can use them by having at least 3 double quote characters at the start and end of the string. Number 4. In C Sharp 8 and above, we can use the range operator and the index from end operator to create different slices of arrays during runtime. We can use the double dot operator to represent ranges in an array and the hat operator to represent the index from end of an array. We can also use variables instead of int literals and we can also declare ranges directly as a variable. Number 3. In C Sharp, you can use a switch expression to evaluate a single expression from a list of candidates based on a pattern match from an input. We can also use case guards to have a more complex pattern matching, which can be really powerful in certain situations. Number 2. Starting with C Sharp 12, we can now use collection expressions to make our life easier, and the addition of the spread element helps us concatenate collections in a simple and straightforward way. Using collection expressions can improve the performance of the program by letting the compiler decide what the best collection type for the given situation is. Number 1. And at last but not least, in C Sharp 10, we can now use file scope namespaces to use a less verbose format for the files that only have one namespace. By adding a semicolon at the end of the namespace, the editor will do the rest and remove the curly brackets and wasted indentation. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this, and leave a comment with what you think are some useful C-Sharp features that people don't know about.